Hi, I'm Victor Yates for Culture, that's Culture with a Q, and I'm here in the beautiful downtown Long Beach with George Unda of Where the Bears Are to talk about his role on the hit YouTube series. <laughs> So introduce yourself to our subscribers who may not know you. Well, my name is George Unda. I am. I play Detective Martinez in Where the Bears Are. Where the Bears Are is a web series that have to, has to do with, it's kind of like a take on Murder, She Wrote and Golden Girls, but with gay men. And it's a lot of fun. Detective Winners, you're back. Call me Chad. I think we're way past the point of being formal. Detective Martinez. You know each other. We're partners. Partners. Wow. Partners. What a coincidence. Partners, how cool. Can we come in? Uh, yeah, come on in. So I'm in the clear. You're not here to arrest me. No. The test we did on your hands came back negative. There's no gun residue, and there's no way you could have shot him. Oh, thank God I'm not going away for 20 years for murder. No, you're not. What's up with you guys and dead bodies anyway? Excuse me, guys. Officers? Morning. I must say, you're looking particularly handsome today, Wood. Yeah, isn't he? He hasn't changed a bit. He looks just like he did back in 1998. I can't tell you how many times I jerked off to his picture in college. Yeah, me too, in high school. My mother could never figure out why we kept running out of Kleenex. Are you two here to brief us or to audition for Raging Stallion? Hey, look here, eyes here. Hey, hey you. Yeah, hey. How would you describe your character? Well, my character is kind of a secondary character. He uh, comes in in season two. Uh, him and his partner, uh, who's played by Chad Sanders, uh, are basically the two detectives that's supposed to be looking for or trying to solve the mystery the murder mystery of that show, or that episode, or, I'm sorry, that season. Yeah, so uh, we're kind of like the, I want to say the heckle and juggle kind of um, plot device in the show. So how important is it for you to represent the queer people of color community within the larger bear community on the show? Well, I think it's really important. Um, season one didn't have as much diversity as season two. Season two, the guys really wanted to bring a lot of different ethnicities and different people in there. And it should because it's about LA and LA is very diverse. Yeah, yeah I came in, I'm um, one of the few uh, Latino actors, I guess, in season two and three. Although now we have very, like season three is very diverse. Yeah. It has a lot of people in it. Yeah. I saw um, a Kamaru. Yeah. He's the reporter on, yeah, he's on, great. on the show. So I really like seeing him. Yeah. God, that was awesome. Yeah. Wait, oh. Yeah. I'm right here. I'm right outside the house. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Wood, I'm Detective Martinez. I work at the Silver Lake Precinct. Hit me up. All right. What has been your most challenging scene on the show? My most challenging scene was probably season three. We had a scene where we were running around in a warehouse and uh, I, had, I was wearing a headdress, like a Indian headdress okay. and a full costume. And we were trying to I had a bottle of chloroform for the show, <laughs> fake chloroform, of course, but you know, the whole thing took hours and hours and uh, we just couldn't coordinate right. I think we were all just really tired right. and the, sh the shoot took forever that day. And okay. we had to like be able to move around and run around and everybody had to get their cue right. And of course we had to do different camera angles. So we didn't really end that day, I think, till like midnight. Um, it was tough, but it was fun. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all fun. You know, we have a great time shooting. So after editing, how did it look? Um, is it post? Post. Yeah, great. You know, okay. editing does a lot of stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> I think half of the magic is editing. Okay. Yeah. What has been your favorite scene so far? My favorite scene is season two when me and Chad are doing a stakeout in the van, and Wood comes in and is seeing each one of us behind each other's backs, and there's this whole like very. Three's company moment, and 
we actually got to say really funny lines, and I love that episode because we, it was just so easy and to work with everybody, and it was funny and it was really quick and fun. Yeah, that was probably my best one. Okay. And Chad is your partner? Yeah, Chad Sanders. And who is Wood? Well, Wood is one of the uh, three main characters in the show. Okay. There's, yeah. Um, and he, in, in the season? Yeah, he, I think, yeah, that that was the first season when we were supposed to be having our little romance. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so Wood, he's the, um, he's like the cult-like model guy? Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so, for followers of the show, what can they expect from your character for the next season? Well, I don't know if we're going to be doing a season four yet. Uh, I'd have to ask the guys. I don't know, right? I don't know yet. They haven't really talked about that. But, you know, it's always a surprise. I didn't really know what they were going to do this last season, and we went for it, you know? So, I would like the idea of doing a spin off episode. I think that'd be awesome. Like, me and Chad doing some, like, kooky spin off parody. Like, I don't know. That'd be great. You know, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll pitch it to them later on and see if they're interested. Maybe we can get the fans to have a petition to, to get your own. Oh, that would be, be great. Yeah. Yes, get to work, people. Let's yeah. make this happen. Yeah, and the fans can also do, like, a Kickstarter campaign to, like, push money your way Maybe. so it makes it easier for everyone. Yeah. So memes are unavoidable in social media today. Have you become a meme? I, <laughs> I love memes. I don't think I've become one yet. I mean... I think becoming a meme is like you represent something very funny or very particular. So, uh, yeah, if I became a meme, that'd be amazing. I'd be, I'd be flattered. That'd be, just, that'd be awesome. So, fans of where the bears are, you have to make George a meme right now. A, a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Not one where I'm like, I don't know. Well, just whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have a favorite meme right now? Um, I have so many memes that I love, uh, and they come and go all the time because there's, you know. Um, my favorite is probably uh, the S Spanish soap opera uh, lady, <laughs> the one that's like shaking the girl in the wheelchair, because they, they can just put that in anything and it's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I actually accidentally saw that on uh, delisted.com. It's like, one of my favorite like pop culture celebrity celebrity blogs yeah and it was just hilarious when i saw it oh um, yeah i guess it was one of the the many there's so many yeah <laughs> yeah so what does the shooting schedule look like for where the bears are it's like one one scene like one episode i guess would be one scene like some maybe like seven minutes mm -hmm. it takes probably a whole day like we start maybe like around 11 a.m and so we try to shoot to end maybe around 6 p.m but it kind of it sometimes it rolls over to like 8 to even 10 p.m. so it's a whole day I mean we're and it's a lot of you know hurry up and wait like mm -hmm. you gotta hurry up you gotta be ready to shoot but then also you gotta wait a couple hours for them to finish this scene and it's a lot of that wait so I'm curious like um, so for the the episodes are about like seven minutes so is there like is there a reason why they're like that short well it's a web series I think yeah. their format is I'm not really sure I, I think well, when you put the whole thing together, when you put yeah. the whole season together, it actually makes a feature film, like oh. length fe feature film. So yeah. I think their intention was probably to do that. Okay. So that once the whole thing's wrapped up, you can actually purchase it as a movie versus okay. like, you know, yeah. like a season full of, you know, episodes. Okay. Yeah, and you know, it's probably good for storytelling as well, you know. Yeah. So how so. has your character changed from day one of shooting season two to wrapping up season three? Well, day one, um, I don't think my character's changed too much, but I guess the first time, well, when, when I came in, I was the partner of an already existing character from season one, which is Chad's detective character. So I was kind of like this stoic kind of, you know, uh, cop and didn't really have much to say. But in season three, I come in, I'm already, there's a scene where I'm at a, at a gay country bar, you know, go-go dancing and people putting tips down my butt. So uh. I think it's kind of evolved to that kind of humor. And I like, I mean, I like the fact that I could have a fun character like that. Okay. So who do you look up to in the LGBT, LGBT community and why? Um, there's so many people. Um, somebody that I think is, I mean, all the people that are behind the scenes working and making it you know, fighting for our rights, fighting for, you know, gay marriage and all this stuff. Uh, people like Lori Jean, uh, who I, I used to work at the Gay and Lesbian Center here in LA, 
And I mean, they, they work like day in and day out doing this stuff for us and we don't even know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So people like that, that need to be, like all the unsung heroes are amazing. People that are in the media, yeah. like Ellen, I think is kind of amazing. It's pretty amazing because they have found a way to work their ways into the hearts of America without being too in your face. And they, they do it in a way that kind of humanizes us and that makes everyone realize we're just normal people just like they are, you know, and that's important. We need, we need to be in the, in the spotlight that way and show people that we're no different. Do you have any gay acting heroes or people whose career you would like to emulate? Well, um, Guillermo Diaz, who is in Scandal, who's a friend of mine, he's actually pretty amazing, I think, because he's been acting since forever, I think, like with the 90s. He's been doing independent films, and he doesn't shy away from doing any kind of role. Like, it, he can be playing a drag queen or, you know, a thug or anything. It's, it doesn't matter. The thing is, he goes to act, and the moment that a director tries to discriminate him because of his sexuality, he's like, screw you, man. I'm just going to... I, I'm not going to let that stop me, and he, and he hasn't, he's been great, and he's got a great career. I think more actors who are gay and lesbian, they need to do that. They need to not be afraid of being themselves and still consider themselves professional actors and not let them, not let them, that stop them. And I love that, especially entertainers who are out and proud in their personal life, and their professional life because they open doors for other yeah, people. Exactly. Like I, I love Wilson Cruz and kind of like all of the the work that he does behind the scenes. Um, he's also starring, uh, co-starring in Red Band Society, which is a new oh, yeah. uh, TV series. I think on ABC. I think so. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, it's it's those first steps that the brave first steps people need to make in order to open the doors for everyone else to come in. You know. Yeah. It's a big deal. So tell our subscribers where they can check out Where the Bears Are. Well, you can go to wherethebearsare.tv. Um, we have all three seasons available for purchase on DVD. You can also get them online. Go to the website, check it out. You can also see some of our episodes on YouTube. And it'll be great. And they're also, I think they're doing a holiday package right now, like a holiday special if you check it out. That's yeah. awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our subscribers about your acting career? Um, right now, not really. I don't think I have much going on in terms of that. But um, I'm hoping that we do a season four. That'd be amazing. Uh, if we do, then I would encourage you guys to come and check it out, support us. It's a web series. We're not getting funded by you know big production companies or anything. It's all very independent. So any kind of support helps. And I mean, it's also helping the community out yeah. to be out there. And thankfully, we've got we've got an amazing fan base, and we've got great fans who've helped us out for season three who will continue to help us out by purchasing and, and promoting us, I think it's awesome. We need more of that in, in general, I think. We need to all support each other. Okay. That is very true, that there needs to be um, more working together within the LGBT community to push projects like this forward. Totally. So awesome. Thank you so much for talking to me and Culture TV. Again, I am Victor Yates with Culture dot org that's culture with a q and please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you have a good day thanks